Okay, so now let's try to talk about uh, this question where you are given uh, a set A there. You have uh, members from negative 4, 1 over 4, negative root of 2, 0 0.3, recording, root of 2 and a 3. So now they ask you to risk the natural numbers, the integers, the rational, irrational, and real numbers. So basically for us to be able to answer that question, we need to understand what these sets are. What are they? Okay, so we have what you call sets of numbers. So the basic aspect, the simplest sets of numbers that we know, the first one that you need to understand is um, a set of natural numbers. So what are natural numbers? So natural numbers basically are counting numbers where we start from 1. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, none ending there. Okay, so that is a set of natural numbers. So the other bigger set, the set that is slightly bigger than natural numbers, is a set of one numbers. So this one is just almost one and the same except it includes um, a zero. In so it will start from zero going up. All right. So that's what we need to know there. So these guys, the natural and the all numbers, they don't include um, fractions. They also don't include decimal numbers. Okay. For a third one, we can now talk about integers. Integers as well doesn't involve, does not include decimal numbers and fractions. Of course, the fractions that I'm talking about, um, um, the fractions that are not able to reduce to a whole number or a natural number. In, ex in a case where you talk about 4 over 2, it's, it's what? It's a natural number, it's a whole number because it's 2, it's equal to a 2. But what I'm talking about is a case where you talk about 1 over 2. 1 over 2 is not a natural number, it's not a whole number, it's not an integer. So a set of um, integers basically includes all, all numbers, but it includes the negative numbers as well. Okay, so negative one going down and one, two going up. That is a set of integers. Okay, apart from the integers, we also have now a set of what? We have now have a bigger set of what we call rational numbers. So what basically are rational numbers? What are rational numbers? So when you talk about rational numbers, you are talking about um, numbers that are able to be expressed in the form of A over B. So now you, you must agree with me that indeed, if you look at the natural numbers, the all numbers and the integers that we have, all these are rational numbers. Why are we saying the rational numbers? So if I get an example of a 2 there, you would agree with me that I'm able to write 2 over 1, meaning that I've, I've expressed it in the form of A over what? A over B. That's what we mean by rational numbers. Not only is that uh, the only example, we can also have another example that you may actually even be against. Okay, in the case where we talk about, um, for example, if I say 0 0.2 recurring. So 0 0.2 recurring is basically, even just before that aspect, 0 0.1. You can agree with me that 0 0.1 is a fraction. can be expressed in the form of A over B. It's 1 over 10. So all these numbers that we know, 1 over 2, as long as it's able to be expressed as a fraction, it's a rational, it's a rational number. So rational numbers include all the integers together with them, the other fractions that cannot be deduced to all numbers or natural numbers. Okay, so that's why, I, that's why we say a, a set of rational numbers is actually bigger than a set of integers because it includes decimals. What about if you talk about 0.2? to 2 or I say 0 0.2 recurring so that is the same as 0 0.2 recurring with a bar on top it means that the twos are repeating so how do you get to um, is it possible is it a rational number so basically you would agree with me that it's basically what a rational it's what it's a rational number you're able to express it in the form of what you're able to express it in the form of um, A over B. So some of you maybe argue how. So let's try to see if that one can become um, a set or a rational number. Can we express it in the form of A over B? So we have 0 0.2 recurring. 
so we can say I can multiply by 10 so if I multiply by 10 I can say 10 X is equal to so it will become 2.2 .2 recurring then I can multiply by a hundred so I can say 100 X is equal to so it will become 22.2 .2 recurring okay so then I can subtract 100 minus a 10 that is a 90 X then 22 recurring minus 2 is basically 20 so your x is equal to 20 over 90 which is just 2 over 9 and if you divide 2 by 9 using your calculator you are going to have what 0 0.2 recurring or 0 0.2222 so that's what you're going to have so we can see now that whenever you've been given a recurring a recurring digit it's basically a rational number okay all right so we've talked about a set of rational numbers so on the contrary we do have what we call irrational numbers so these guys or these numbers are the ones that you can't express in the form of what these are the ones that you you cannot express in the form of a over b it's not possible for you to express such numbers in the form of what in the form of hmm, a over b those are what we call irrational numbers so examples of irrational numbers of what imperfect squares so imperfect squares or any root of um yeah imperfect squares basically are a good good examples of um irrational numbers okay whether it's negative or positive we are not able to express that number in the form of um, a over b okay so now if you combine all the irrational numbers combined together with the rational number so they form what we call a set of what a set of real numbers so real numbers include all the numbers that we've talked about so far we've talked about natural numbers with all numbers we've talked about integers we've talked about um rational numbers then irrational numbers so all these numbers are part of mm, real numbers so real numbers includes all the decimal numbers that you know all the rational numbers all the rational numbers okay that's a set of real numbers so Apart from real numbers, the other or the biggest set of numbers is a set of complex numbers. So complex numbers is different in a sense that it includes all the real numbers. All real numbers are part of what? Complex numbers. But not all complex numbers are real numbers. So a complex number is basically a number that you get to express in the form of A plus IB. Of course, it is a topic on its own. You can check out the video to understand the addition of complex numbers and any other computation to do with the same then apart from real numbers complex number is also made up of imaginary numbers okay so for the sort of a negative number that is an example of what a complex number it's not a real number so imaginary numbers is basically what makes complex numbers to be different from the real numbers okay so now that we've talked about the different sets of numbers that we we have and now back to our question and try to classify or come up with or list the numbers that are natural numbers natural and real i'll start with a set of natural numbers so when you look at natural numbers we're saying these are counting numbers but they don't include what they don't include zero zero is not part of the real numbers or oh, natural numbers so if you look at negative form i can even write um, the in advance i can put integers as well then I can put, um, I can also put rational. Then um, I can also put um, irrational on the other part. I think let me start with these three. So if you look at negative form as the first element in the set N, is it a natural number, an integer, rational, or what? So it's basically not a natural number because it's not a counting number. As we said, natural numbers start from one going up so it's not a natural number but it's an integer because we said integers include all the natural numbers together with uh, together with the negative values so negative 4 is an integer is it an irrational number yes it is we said all integers are rational numbers <laughs> then 1 over 4 1 over 4 qualifies to be a rational number because it's able to be expressed in the form of a over b how oh, about an integer? No, integers only include 
or numbers, both positive and negative. That. So, how about the root of negative 2? Root of negative 2 is not a natural number, it's not an integer, and it's not rational, it is irrational because it's an imperfect square. So, we can't indicate it. How about 0 0.3 recurring? That's not a natural number, it's not an integer, but because we're able to express it in the form of what? A over B. That's where most of the students sit down. They think when they say a recurring number, they feel it's not a rational number. Then root of 2. Root of 2 is also uh, a rational number. Then 3 is a natural number. It is an integer. It is also a rational number. So we are done with the integers. We are done with the natural numbers. Okay. Let's try to talk about now irrational and real. So we said all the numbers that we can talk about are real, except the ones that are not barely don't exist. If you want to know that a number is a real number, you can't do its calculations on a normal calculator. Okay. For example, the square root of negative two, you can't find that. But if you look at all what we have here, all these are computed. You are able to compute them. Then set A. All these members are part of what? Real numbers. But if we had the root of negative two, it would have not qualified or of any negative number. Or whenever you see an I. Then on the part for irrational, numbers that we can't express in the form of um, A over B. In this case, what are those numbers? So if you look at the set that we have, negative root of two is one of them. Root of two. So we only have two. These are the only numbers that we can't express in the form of um, A over B. So I hope you now understand what the sets of numbers are and you're able to classify a number, different numbers into their actual sets. Thank you very much for